Over the last two decades, many international, multinational companies were involved in corporate scandals. These companies had to pay billions of dollars in fines. They did things that were legally and morally problematic, and that indicates usually a serious corporate culture problem, because it seems that the behavioral rules in the company facilitate or at least do not prevent employees from engaging in fraudulent behaviors. But that is only part of the story, because the, the broader issue of corporate culture is how do you get employees to go the extra mile? How do you get employees to do the extra effort that is necessary to make the company a successful enterprise? Don't just postulate new norms and new ethical behaviors. Don't just rewrite your, your rule books because that alone will not help you. You have to get a sense, an assessment of the willingness of your employees to be engaged in building a new corporate culture. Usually, a large majority of the employees are willing to cooperate voluntarily. But their voluntary cooperation is conditional on what they believe about others' cooperation. There is usually a significant minority of free riders who do not want to follow the rules. The free riders, they are contagious. Their behavior is contagious. And that means that the, the people who are really willing to cooperate in principle, they stop cooperating if they notice that the others don't cooperate. A company that wants to establish a cooperative corporate culture first needs to assess empirically the willingness of its employees to cooperate voluntarily. Because that empirical information helps the company to design the appropriate mix of incentives and nudges uh, to establish the culture. The company needs to assess to what extent employees are aware of the uh, mutual gains that can arise when a corporate, cooperative corporate culture is established.